I think it's interesting to talk about the low fees because uh, one, the big aspect of why a blockchain gets high fees, it is because of the high traffic, right? The high traffic can come obviously because of the usage, but it also comes from the type of usage, right? So the more complex the operations you want your blockchains to, to do, then the bigger will be the transaction um, weight on the network, right? Like it will be bigger in terms of data. And so it obviously it will slow down, like the bigger your operations are, and now the more complex they are and the size of the block is limited. And so obviously now you get into limitations, which make that to compensate and to make sure that it doesn't get stuck, then you have mechanism that makes the fee go up so that basically the system is always running. So that's some balance that you have in Ethereum and Bitcoin. And so on our side, it's not that it wouldn't happen if there would be insane usage and if we were starting to deploy some more complex mechanism like DEVM on, on DV. But yeah. the thing is that we don't want that. Like we, the, the idea behind DV really the, the mindset is that we have to keep it lightweight. And this is also why the sidechain are coming as the great solution, because now we don't have to have everything on that blockchain and to face the same issues as others, which is, yeah, you have low fees, but now that you have actually activity, your fees are not low anymore. So that's not yeah. something that will happen to us because the activity will, of course, be on Divi, but then anything that is based on services will not be on Divi, but it will be offloaded to sidechains. And, and that is how we will basically keep our low fee system, which is really critical because you can see, again, I think we talked about that already, but if you want to use, you want to use Ethereum or Bitcoin when it's like, when it's crazy, it's just, it's just not possible, right? It's only, and I think it ties to the previous topic, it's only with the large speculation and huge profits that people can just, you know, accept to pay $50 to, to move funds around. It's a double-edged sword. Obviously, when fees are high, that means that people have to use their currency or buy the currency at that higher rate. So it, it drives a demand. It, there's two things going on. So we could say that those things, though, are a negative. Why? Because user experience is terrible. Nobody feels good about paying $100 to move some Ethereum or to move some, you know, to pay for something in Bitcoin. Nobody wants to pay a high fee, you know, and I'm talking about the USD valuation. Um, you know, so I think that there is a reason that people keep getting into these situations. Miners and validators benefit. Miners and validators benefit when things get crummy. The problem is, is it makes everybody hate your blockchain. <laughs> it's like nobody, nobody likes it. So I think there's, there's the, the goodness about the Divi balance is that you can still reward validators. You can still do all these things. That's the whole goal that can come from the side chain and that will, in, that will improve the incentivization for those those sidechain validators to support that sidechain. And then you have Divi. Divi should be the value transfer or the gas, if we want to say it, behind spinning up these chains. It's a different kind of philosophy and it allows more people to participate. <laughs>